Hey teachers! So I talk to so many teachers all the time that avoid using Google Sheets because they feel intimidated by it. And that's really perfectly understandable because all of those formulas and things can be pretty intimidating. But the thing is, there are some very simple and easy to use tools inside of Google Sheets that you can use to create interactive assignments, checklists, rubrics, all kinds of things with your students. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add checkboxes to your Google sheets and assign point values to those checkboxes. Now the reason that I want to show you how to add checkboxes and point values to your Google Sheets is because there are so many practical uses for teaching using this simple tool. For example, you can create interactive assignments, you can create rubrics, you can create agendas for your team meetings, you can create to-do lists. For example, I once had a student with an IEP that he needed a daily to-do list that he could check off throughout the day. This is something you could use for that. You could also create homework checklists, writing checklists, all kinds of lists, uh, rubrics, agendas, like I said, interactive assignments, really the possibilities are endless. So we're gonna jump on my computer, I'm gonna show you how it's done, and there are no formulas involved with this, just a couple simple clicks. Now before we jump over there, I do just wanna take a moment to ask you to please like this video and subscribe to the channel. We create all of this content here on the channel for free, and by taking the time to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it enables us to keep creating free content for you and teachers around the globe. So let's go ahead and jump on my my computer. All right, well you can see here that I have created a rubric inside of Google Sheets and this is for the final project as part of my Ancient Egypt unit. Now with all of my Ancient Civilizations units, I have them end with a final project. If you're interested in checking out any of those units, I have linked them down in the description. But now what I want to do is I want to add check boxes here and assign point values to those. So that way when I'm going through and I am grading these student assignments, I can just click and grade at the same time. So to add the checkbox, I can either click on the cell where I want, this is the first option, you can click insert and then click checkbox. But if you wanna save time, you can highlight all the cells, click insert and click checkbox and it will go on all of those at the same time and you'll see that you can check and uncheck any of those at any time. Now what we want to do is go ahead and assign point values to these. Like I said, I want to be able to go through after students have submitted their assignments and as I am grading these, I want to be able to just check and go ahead and assign points so that way I don't have to spend a ton of time grading. So what I'm going to do is the first couple, the first four options here, I want to make these five points each, and then the bottom ones I'm gonna make one point each because the scales up here are more important than the things down here. So for the ones that I wanna make five point each, I'm going to highlight them, I'm going to click on data, and then click on data validation. And you're gonna see here it has our cell range listed. This is A4 to A7, which we have right here. The criteria is a checkbox, and we're gonna use custom cell values. Now, if it's checked, it's going to be five points. And if it's unchecked, it's going to be zero points. And you can make these any point value that you want. And then I am going to click Save. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with these, but I'm gonna make these one point each. So I've highlighted all of them. I'm gonna click data, data validation, use custom cell values, and I'm gonna make checked one point and unchecked zero points and click save. Now, what I can do so that I can see those point values is I'm going to highlight all of these and come down to the cell just below. So see how I've highlighted the cell below the checkboxes as well? And then I am going to click on the functions and select sum. So that's gonna put that there. Now look when I check, it gave it five points. So if the student did all of these things and I check all of them, they would have the full 23 points. So you can see how easy this is for creating graded assignments. 
All right, so there you have it. That is how you add checkboxes and assign point values inside of Google Sheets. And I would love to hear from you. I've shared a lot of different ways that you can use this easy tool in your classroom, but I'm sure you have ideas that I haven't even thought of. So go ahead and share your ideas for how you could use this tool down in the comments. And until next time, happy teaching.